This book is called Olivia, and it's by Ian Falconer. And you'll notice there's a silver medal on the cover, and that means it was a Caldecott honor book. Every January, the at the American Library Association Midwinter, there is an award given for the best picture book for children to the illustrator, and an award called the Newbery for the best work of literature for children. So that's like a novel or a chapter book. So this book came in second place the year that it was published. And let's find out when that was. You see their book is written and illustrated by Ian Falconer. It's by An Athenium Books for Young Readers. It's published in New York. And we'll see the year that it was published. And it was published in 2000. And you'll see there's works of art that are given credit on this verso page. And this is a Jackson Pollock uh, work called Autumn Rhythm. And this is uh, a work by Edgar Degas called Ballet Rehearsal. It's dedicated to the real Olivia and Ian and to William, who didn't arrive in time to appear in this book. This is Olivia. She is good at lots of things. She is very good at wearing people out. She even wears herself out. And you'll notice she's being creative here with a hammer and a nail and some wood. And she's jumping and she's running. And she can stand on her head and use a yo-yo. And it looks like she's just being kind of a drama queen. And she's kicking a ball, and maybe she's dancing. She looks like she's baking. Again, she's running and running and jump roping, and finally, she wears herself out. Olivia has a little brother named Ian. He's always copying. Sometimes Ian just won't leave her alone, so Olivia has to be firm. Olivia lives with her mother, her father, her brother her dog Perry, and Edwin the cat. In the morning after she gets up and moves the cat and brushes her teeth and combs her ears and moves the cat, Olivia gets dressed. She has to try on everything. Oh boy. That's a lot of choices. I think this one's my favorite, with sunglasses in the bag. Can you guess what her favorite color is? On sunny days, Olivia likes to go to the beach. She feels it's important to come prepared. Last summer, when Olivia was little, her mother showed her how to make sand castles. She got pretty good. Now, let's be honest. This is a really good example of exaggeration, and exaggeration is when something is much bigger than life, kind of in an impossible way. So while that's an amazing sandcastle, I think Ian Falconer was exaggerating just a little. Sometimes Olivia likes to bask in the sun. When her mother sees that she's had enough, they go home. Every day, as Olivia is supposed to take a nap. It's time for your you-know-what, her mother says. Olivia doesn't look too happy about her you-know-what. Looks like she might have to take a nap. Of course, Olivia's not at all sleepy. Looks like she's practicing some ballet. On rainy days, Olivia likes to go to the museum. She heads straight for her favorite picture. Olivia looks at it for a long time. What could she be thinking? I think she might be imagining herself a ballerina on the stage. What do you think? But there is one painting Olivia just doesn't get. I could do that in about five minutes. She says to her mother. As soon as she gets home, she gives it a try. Doom! 
Not a good idea to splatter paint on your walls. Just a suggestion. Ah, <sighs> time out. After a nice bath and a nice dinner, it's time for bed. But, of course, Olivia's not at all sleepy. Only five books tonight, Mommy, she says. No, Olivia, just one. How about four? Two. Three? Oh, all right, three. But that's it. When they finished reading, Olivia's mother gives her a kiss and says, You know, you really wear me out. But I love you anyway. And Olivia gives her a kiss back and says, I love you anyway, too. And you can see this is a book. It's about a, an opera singer named Maria Callas. And what does it look like Olivia is dreaming about? Hmm. And this is on the back flap of the book. It's a picture of Ian Falconer, the illustrator. And it says, Ian Falconer is a painter and illustrator whose illustrations have graced many covers of the New Yorker magazine. In addition, he has designed sets and costumes for the New York City Ballet, the San Francisco Opera, and the Royal Opera House, Covent Gardens, among others. Olivia was his first children's book and launched an internationally best-selling series of books about this spectacular piglet. Mr. Falconer lives in New York City.